What's going on, everybody? This is uh, John Joseph, lead singer of the Crow Mags. I'm honored to, to be doing this today. I've been trying to wake people up to what's going on around the world with the IMF, the World Bank, Bilderberg, and the rest of them. So as of late, it's been getting more and more intense uh, to what they're doing in terms of destroying economies of countries as well as controlling, as Mr. Kissinger said, he who controls the food controls the people. So what they're doing through Monsanto and the rest of these companies that are pushing genetically modified foods on everybody across the planet is taking complete control of the world's resources. As a punk rocker, for almost 35 years, I feel... It's my duty to try to stop this by making everybody aware as to what's really going on behind the scenes. You have to really pay attention now more than ever. That's why I wrote the book, Meat is for Pussies. It's to wake everybody up, tell you to get off your knees and take charge of your health. Don't be a pussy dependent upon drug companies and these GMO lying scumbags and parasites all over the planet. So I'm going to read to you now a little something from the book, from the section, Don't Be Their Human Lab Rat. You always have to ask yourself if the foods we're eating are safe. In order to determine the answer, we have to look at the situation in its complete form. Under what circumstances has my food been created, maintained, and slaughtered? Hopefully, you don't eat anything that needs to be slaughtered. But furthermore, lately I keep coming across news clips of scientists bragging about how genetically modified foods are going to solve the world's hunger problems. Personally, I've always been a staunch supporter of organic farming, so I had little knowledge as to what genetically modified organisms or GMOs or GM actually were. That all changed when I discovered a shocking documentary. Although the future of food, which was the documentary, came and went with very little noise, never a mention of it on any mainstream news program anywhere that I was aware of. So what I had to do was go and track it down at the place where knowledge flows freely for now, the internet. A Google search for the future of food led me to an eerie clip of wheat blowing in the wind. Next came the line that practically knocked me off my chair. This is probably the largest biological experiment humanity has ever entered into. The film goes on to explain how fucked up this GMO shit is and how you're playing Russian roulette with your health every time you eat those Franken foods. Ever since I saw that film, which felt more like a horror flick, I've been on the warpath to spread the truth and let everybody know exactly what's going on. A GMO is an organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. Transferring this new DNA into food allows them to acquire modified traits such as improved shelf life, a greater resistance to pests, and the ability to withstand harsh environmental conditions. Essentially, the foods are on steroids. Now, some people might be saying, what's wrong with that? It protects the food. But the point is, all of this food and this technology is untested as to what it's going to do to humanity. We already see what it's doing to the environment. It's wiping out strains of other organic uh, crops of the same nature. Basically, what's going on is these people are trying to control the world's economies and the world's food system and the world's water. We have to start paying attention and waking up to what's going on, turn off the TV and the mainstream news, and really get the real story. To me, that's the most important thing I can do right now, is to try to help people uh, take control of their health, stop the slaughtering of all these animals worldwide. We don't need to do it. You know, feed 85% of the world's crops are going to the slaughter of animals in all Western countries. It's all bull crap. So that's why I tell people, wake up, get online, get on the internet, start researching all this stuff and find out for yourself. Because 
Nowhere in the punk rock handbook does it say you have to be a weak, feeble little punk rock that dude that or or girl that's taking drugs, you know, for your health, prescription pharmaceutical drugs. So that's my message to everybody on this record. I hope everybody pays attention. This is what's enabled me to continue to do what I'm doing. This was passed down to me by the Bad Brains and JW, and it's my job to get out there and continue to pay that forward and help everybody else. God bless you, and uh, hopefully one by one we can get the word out there and start waking everybody up. Haribo.